to all the essential workers at the Blue Flame. Shouts out, shouts out, shouts out. Come on in, come on in. We ain't doing nothing else. Let me cut this TV down because I don't want no type of infringements there. NBC be tripping. Let me tell you something, man. It's a couple things that we learned here tonight. And I wouldn't even say that we learned. I'll say one group of cowboy fans Learn something when well, I learn, or just got confirmation or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all asses learn something tonight. Some some cowboy fans learn something tonight. The rest of us, we just affirm, you know, what we had thought the whole the whole time. Let me be incredibly clear. Shouts out to Cooper Rush. He's done an incredible job as a backup. Cooper Rush has done everything we've asked him to do as a backup. Cooper Rush, for the job that we asked of him, which is simply keep this thing on the rails and do not lose it. Cooper Rush did his job relatively. He gets my respect for that. Shouts out to Cooper Rush. Shouts out to Patrick Ferris because he dropped 20 in my cash app, by the way. Shouts out to Pat Ferris. He said 20 for the good content. Appreciate you, sir. Now, I've sat in this seat at the Cowboy losses. And also, too, where, where are my manners? Shouts out to the Philadelphia Eagles. Shouts out to Eagles fans. You got you one. Congratulations. It was a very hard fought home victory. And later on down the line, winning at home in the NFC and the NFC East will give you some playoff favor. It almost makes the Cowboys have to win at home when we play y'all again at week 16. Fantastic job by the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll give you a Don DeMarco. You ain't getting the walk up, but you'll get a Don DeMarco. Don DeMarco. DeMarco. Shouts out to Eagles fans there. You deserve your W. Now, back to what I was saying. Good game by y'all. But normally, and listen, y'all, y'all, y'all have been here with me before, you know? Some of y'all have been watching me for a long time. And some games have me incredibly sad. Look, some games, some games have had me up there like this. Some games I'd be like that. You know, some games, some games have me down like that. I promise you I'm not down like that. This, this, this ain't the type of game where I feel that way. Going into the schedule, well, pardon me, going into Dak Prescott's injury, we was like, yeah, we might lose that one, lose that one, and lose that one, and we might beat the Wizards. You know what I'm saying? To walk out of this run without Dak Prescott, four and two. Immaculate. Immaculate. Fantastic job by Cooper Rush, bro. I cannot say this enough. And it's almost bad that I had to shit on Cooper Rush for so long. But it wasn't out of a place of anger. I had to shit on Cooper Rush because I felt like I needed to do that to educate people. I was wrong for that. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of Cooper Rush and the job that he did. It's over though. <laughs> Respectfully. 
<laughs> Evan Thompson dropped a dime in the super chat. Says, "Hey, Vach, I wanted to give you more support since I, since I don't call much during the season. Uh, if you don't mind the plug, I started my own breakdown channel for Falcons Dirty Bird Confessional. Much love. Go check out Evan Thomas on the Falcons Dirty, Dirty Bird Confessional. Go over there, check out his film says. Appreciate you dropping a dime in the super chat. Listen, when I like watching Cooper Rush in the off season." And knowing who Cooper Rush is and knowing that Cooper Rush wanted to hit Pam Olive on the sideline and knowing Cooper Rush almost hit Jerry in the in the in the in the towel and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Cooper Rush wasn't supposed to get us here. You know what I'm saying? To the to the four and two mark. We was gonna be way worse than this. I give so much respect to that dude because I thought Cooper Rush was going to be horrific. And he kind of was <laughs> not a whole work hard, just a half, but that's done. Now rain Dakota Prescott gets to step back into the saddle. He steps back into where he belongs. He steps right back in his proper place. Shots. I, I, I won't say another bad thing about Cooper rush. Cause from now on, it's no longer Cooper rush versus Dak Prescott. And I hate that, you know, Cooper Rush had to go and throw three picks. You know what I mean? I hate he had to throw three picks um, for people to kind of see that. That after a while, a good team, first of all, a good team in the Eagles, then they can they then they have film on you, multiple weeks of film on you, right? They kind of not only them being a talented team, but they can mold a game plan towards you. Cooper Rush simply just ran out of energy. He had run out of energy, which is fine. He's Cooper Rush. He never was quarterback one. The national media can say whatever it is that they like. Cooper Rush was never quarterback one. He ran out of energy. Cool. But I respect him for what he did. Because if it was like, like Brad, uh, what, what, what's the boy? Uh, uh, Hoyer. If it was like Hoyer or something. If it was like Drew Locke or something, you know, one of them cats, you know what I'm saying? Cooper Rush. Look, Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush had his own version of Lynn Sanity. Shouts out to Lynn Sanity. Them Lynn Sanity. But it is time to get Dak Prescott back. And why I think that's so important. Let me lock these phones. I'm not taking a whole bunch of calls tonight, and this stream ain't going to be long. I'm going to take about five calls. The conference has been locked. <laughs> I'm taking five calls, and I'm dipping. Ray-Ban dropped a, a dub in the Super Chat. Appreciate you. Um, when Dak Prescott comes back, this whole team looks different. And to be fair, I saw a lot of people kind of shitting, um, shitting on my defense a little bit because they, they gave up some points. Listen, man. For the predicament that them dudes were put in, just like with week one, really, the predicament that those dudes were put in, that they had to overcome, I give them respect. I give my defense respect for that. I saw some people in the in the, in the chat box panicking and shit. It was like, but Vodge, why are we trash versus the run? Well, look at the position that we in. It's a, I, I would say that it was more of a game flow thing. It was more of a game flow thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to play shoulda, coulda, woulda, because that'll take away from the Eagles from the Eagles' win. The Eagles got the win. I'm not taking away from the Eagles' win. Cooper Rush did his job. Four back next week, though. That's all I'm saying. No more walkout. That's it. Because <laughs> we lost. I don't. So, so long story short, I'm not down on this loss necessarily. It sucks to lose. I hate losing. I hate losing to the Eagles. I hate shit talking Eagle fans, right? Like, like that, that bothers me for real, for real. But to roll out Cooper rush and what our offense did, despite of that, then what our defense was doing, despite that, I don't see how you as a cowboy fan, I know a lot of y'all going to like go to sleep mad and shit. <laughs> y'all going to be, y'all going to be upset for the night. That's fine. That's cool. Be upset for the night. Be upset for the week. We lost to the Eagles. The, the Eagles deserve us to be upset this week, right? They deserve that. Cause we've gotten them plenty of times. You know what I mean? 
you know, and I only want to make it because look, because we because because we beat the shit out guarding the Minshew or something. I ain't want to hear nothing about hey that was guarding the Minshew. We just beat the shit out guard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like I, I don't care who it was. You know, W is W. So us losing to Cooper, like W is W, right? Whatever. Four is back. And what this team was able to do without four, I think, is was is what we should be, you know, focusing our energy on, right? Cause I never was the guy to be like, oh shit, look at what Cooper Rush is doing for this team. I was more so. Man, look at what this team is doing despite Cooper Rush at quarterback. Look at what this team is doing with Cooper Rush at quarterback. You know what I mean? I saw some some little nonsense on the on the uh social media. You know, you know, you know, you know, sometimes cowboy fans make up shit, right? Cowboy fans make up shit. I, I saw somebody like, oh well, the locker room loves Cooper. The, the locker room likes likes Cooper Rush more. The locker room thinks that that Dak is selfish. And hey, motherfuckers making that up. I just want to ask y'all this. Y'all think D Law, Micah, and Trey them wanna 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 keep playing Cooper Rush and shit? <laughs> After all that field position? Y'all think CD Lamb and them ain't ready for four to come back? Y'all think Noah Brown and Gallup and, and all them boys ain't ready for four to come back? You don't think Dalton Schultz ready for four to come back? Shit. Somebody got me down. Somebody got a uh, quote by me. Harry Mills says, Cooper Rush, is, <laughs> Cooper Rush is one of the top 32 quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Vice Lombardi. I still kind of believe that he better than somebody. Cooper Rush better than like Matt Ryan or something. You know? Cooper Rush might be better than, you know, I don't know if he's better than Carson. He might, he might be up there. With, he better than, like, Daniel Jones or some shit. <laughs> but he up there with Dak and the rest of the boys. You feel me? So, sure, we took the L tonight. That's fine. But this play caller, these receivers, these running backs, likely this offensive line, and that whole defense is ready for four to come back. And I think that we can we can take that energy and move it forward a little bit. Baker Mayfield, Cooper Rush better than make he better than Baker Mayfield and Kenny Pickett. There we go. There we go. So, chat, I just want us to be classy here, man. I don't want us to to, to try to take away from an Eagles win. I mean, yeah, it's Cooper Rush, man, but we can beat the shit out of all, all kind of people on their team. You know what I mean? <laughs> We done beat the shit out of all kind of Eagles quarterbacks, and we didn't care who it was. You know what I mean? So let's not poo-poo on the Eagles win. When they start beating Dak, they're on to something. But, 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 but let's not do that. 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 Let's I'm really not down about this, bro. I'm really not I'm really not down about this. I'm excited to see what what week 16 is gonna look like. That's gonna be that's gonna be a more fun game, right? That's gonna be that's gonna be a more fun game, but this run that we're about to go on is what we, is what we need to be more focused on, right? The Lions, which will be a tough game, because they can they can put up points. Um, the Bears, even Alabama got to play uh, Northern Tennessee Junior College. You know what I'm saying? But you know the Bears can play tough, and and then we got to buy a week to get you know what I'm saying to get a little healthy. After that. Packers, Giants. I'll tell you. Give me two. Where my phone at? After after the bye week, Packers, Vikings, Giants, Colts, Texans, Jags, Eagles, Titans, and Washington Football Wizards. That's the run. That's the run. And honestly, based on the other teams in the in the division, and this is something else I give Cooper 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 Rush credit for. Let me give Cooper Rush a, a Don DeMarco over this. Don DeMarco, DeMarco, DeMarco. The Buccaneers. Who else? Um, like the the Packers and shit, like like the, the the Rams and all them other teams in the NFC. Cooper Rush kept this team and the defense and the running game kept this and the coaches or whatever kept this defense afloat 
this well kept this team afloat despite the Packers, Bucks, and Rams kind of falling off a little bit. Respect that. You know? At some point, I do think the Giants will lose some games. That's only fair. And at some point, I think the 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 Vikings will will lose some games. I, you know, Vikings, they'll lose some games at some point, you know. It's still early. They'll, they'll lose some games at this point. You, we must focus on this next run. And I think the Eagles game in week 16 is going to be even more important. Because I don't, I honestly don't see the Cowboys losing too many more games. If, if you look at the Cowboys and the Eagles schedule, us and the Eagles ain't going to lose too many more games, to be fair. And Eagles versus Tampa Bay is going to be a very important game. Or just whoever their NFC opponent for that thing is or whatever. Because it's going to come down like common opponent or something like that. Because if the Cowboys beat the Eagles in week 16, it's going to go down to common opponent. But I don't see the, the, the Eagles losing too many more games. And I don't see the Cowboys losing too many more games. So we have to focus on Dak and these, and these upcoming joints. You understand? For like playoff placement and shit. The Eagles are playing for playoff placement. The Cowboys are also Vikings. We'll see giants. I think they'll come down to earth and really figure out who they are. The Vikings won. I mean the, the giants won today, but they, but they play like shit. <laughs> and I think the giants, the last couple of games they've won, they play like shit. So I don't think the Eagles and the, and the, and the Cowboys are, are going to lose too many more games. I think that's what we should focus on. We should, we should, we should now transition into mid season. For, I feel good about this team, dog. And I don't like moral victories, man. I, I ain't really into that. Like I said, man, shots out. We lost today. Eagles won. Congrats. But I just feel great moving forward. You understand what I'm saying? Because four coming back. Simply because four coming back. You know what I mean? Um, would I have liked for four to play this game? Of course I would have liked for four to play this game. But this game just cemented to me. Run game. Defense. Young tight ends, we got them. We got them. I feel good about those about those three categories. And if we're able to keep up with teams, with our defense, our young tight ends, running game, and all that, we're going to get 10 times better at quarterback. And the quarterback position is the one position that affects the team the most. We get 10 times better at quarterback. I'm optimistic as fuck. Like I said, I'm taking five calls a day. I'm normally phony as hell. <laughs> normally. You know what I mean? If we would have won, this would have been a two and a half hour stream. Sorry, Alex. This would have been a two and a half hour stream. But we didn't. <laughs> Plus, it's 1050. Sorry. So, I'm going to get these five calls in. And um, let me. I'll probably call one of my content creator friends. See what they talking about. Call some of my content creator friends. See what they talking about. Uh, KC dropped a buck in the cash app. He says Cooper Rush did his job. Indubitably, 100%, man. Appreciate you for your, uh, for your uh, contribution. And we have someone. We, we got a bunch of people joining the Patreon. I appreciate y'all. Patreon.com slash Vice Lombardi. We'll be watching film. We'll be watching plenty of film. Hey, man, don't be down on your defense, man. Don't be down on your defense. The the damn defense, the Cowboys defense got put on the field and the Eagles were on the other side of their 50 four times. Just think about that, Chad. The Eagles scored, I forgot how many points they scored, 20-something, 20 29, 20, 28, whatever. How, how many points they scored? Our Cowboy defense was dropped into negative territory. Is that positive or is that negative territory? They, was with, they, they, had, they had their back to the end zone four times this game. To open a drive. One, that's not sustainable. You can't ask you, you, you can't ask your defense to win like that. But two, look at what look at what look at what they got from that, right? It, 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 it was some Eagles content person on Twitter or whatever. They really was trying to come at me all week. They was like, because I was like, hey, make Jalen Hurst throw. <laughs> like make him throw, and we have a great chance to like succeed here. And it was like, but Vach, you said make Jalen Hurts throw. As, make that motherfucker throw. <laughs> That's a Alex, am I wrong for the make Jalen Hurts throw versus the Cowboys strategy? Where 
Alex going to definitely keep it a book. Alex, was I wrong for the make Jalen Hurts throw strategy? Because if y'all run the ball, y'all definitely have the advantage if y'all can run the ball. Make Jalen Hurts throw was definitely the strategy. <laughs> and then, and then, then they're going to tag me to one of the joints, you know, to one of the Jalen Hurts dump off passes, you know, with the yak. You, you still want Jalen Hurts to throw that? Sure. Yes. So when we come back in week 16, sure. I still want Jalen Hurts to throw. <laughs> Shit, they was so look, look, they was easy throws that he scored on shot side to him, but you saw what them pass rushers. You, you, you saw what that pass rush was doing, man. You, you, you saw Jalen wasn't wasn't really getting busy downfield like that. It was dump offs, man. It was the reads. It was the check down. I don't think make Jalen Hurst throw was a bad strategy tonight. Can't wait to do it again. Here we go. Let's get back into it. Let's get back. Well, let's get into the phone. Let's get into the phone. I'm only taking five calls because I'm phony. But <laughs> let's get into it. D shit from Texas. What's up, sir? Hey, bro, shit. Everybody chill, dog. You should be proud of this team. They're 4-2. and two. Y'all said it was going to be 2-4. and four. Yes, sir. 1-5. and five. Yes, sir. Man, I was uh, kicking back. I was thinking about, you know, I'm, I'm going to the Lions game. So when it happened to Dak, I was like, oh, shit. He ain't even going to be playing. We're going to suck. I just wasted. So, I mean, that goes to show you, man. Uh, you can't. You can't. I said Cooper Rush wouldn't be put in position to make himself look like a fool. And right. they did it to him. Mm. I don't know if that was ad- advertently just to see what they had in him because they felt like they was playing with house money. Mm-hmm. Um, but they found out. Um, everybody else found out. My wife, she loves the Cowboys because she loves me. Sure. So she felt like Cooper Rush was, you know, kind of doing his thing. I-, I can't be mad at her. You know, she she knows what she knows. and um, But at the end of the day, you know, she found out, you know. Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. <laughs> But uh, you know, at the end of the day, man, uh, we you you can't go three turnovers. You can't go for it for on fourth down in your own territory. Uh, you can't do like crazy shit like that. So, I mean, you 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 were down twenty to seventeen at one point in time. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's what it is. The, like you said, the Eagles won. They were the, the better team. Lane Johnson went down. They were looking. Uh, pretty dominant with Lane. So oh, I can't take nothing away from the Eagles. But at the same time. We four and two. We got a soft schedule. That's gonna come back in. Yeah. And even if even if we don't win the division, Vach, mm-hmm. well, what what do we got to prove that Fair. we can do it? Win in the playoffs. So pass the division stuff. I want to win. Shout out to the Eagles, but come on, man. Yep. Sure enough. All right, Vach. Appreciate you, Disha. See, Chad, this is why you can't give him credit for nothing. See, 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 this is why you can't give him credit for nothing. I, I came out here to show love to the East. I gave him all that. See, see, this is why you can't give him I ain't never seen none of these people before. <laughs> I ain't never seen none of the The only Eagles fans I'm giving love to is the ones that was here. The only Eagles fans I'm showing respect to is the ones that was here. All y'all brand new people, shit, please. But uh, admins, leave them alone. Don't, don't touch them. Admins, don't even, don't even touch them. Don't even touch them. Don't even touch them. Leave them alone. Let, let them, let them, let them get them off. Hey, look, they had, they, they got their W. Let them, let them win. Let them win. I'm showing, I'm showing respect to Alex, the Eagles fan, though. I'm showing, I'm, I'm showing respect to Alex. The rest of y'all, hold on, wait. The rest of y'all. Basically, <laughs> what up, Eric? Hey, what's going on with you, boss? Cool, my guy. What you got for the show? Man, all I got to say is Cooper Rush did a job. For sure, I was kind of already, I was kind of already expecting this a little bit because Cooper Rush ain't never been put in no bad position before. So hey, that's what Cooper Rush showed the world why he's a backup. For sure. And on the other side of that, um. I ain't gonna let some people fans make it. I'm not impressed when that come back. We're gonna put y'all like <laughs> so, so, hey, l- l- hey, listen, man. They, they, they deserve. Look, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna be super duper anti eagle. Like, I'm, I'm letting them fly, man. Even though. <laughs> Even though they they making man. shit up right now, <laughs> Dan the chat Dan the look, chat box man, making look, shit up right now. <laughs> look, right now, right now they ain't nothing but right now they ain't nothing but Debo. Let's see what Jalen Hurts do for. Eventually they gonna run into eventually they gonna run into Craig and you know Craig so half for number four jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know how it go. You know how it go. Hey, hey, but look, I don't I, I don't even want to pull. 
quarterback card with them. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't beat their ass for years with whoever playing quarterback. You know what I mean? So I don't want to play the no, I mean, I mean, Cooper Rush card. You I know mean, what I mean? Jalen Hurts, Hurts is good. Jalen Hurts is good, but you Jesus know, cool. they're not the second half team. Not the second half team. We know. Hey, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna keep it there and everything. But we, we see y'all in December. See y'all in December. Jalen Hurts had a Cooper Rush game. <laughs> I just he looked. Did. I just looked up his numbers, he man. Did. Hey, look, Jalen Hurts had a had a Bengals Cooper Rush game. What is what is what are they talking about? Ah oh, man, I man. Jalen Hurts had a Cooper Rush. All right, let's get Jr. on the phone. And see what he's talking about, man. I ain't finna let these trolls boy, please. Jr. What up, bro? Jr. Easy. Jr. Oh my bad. Hold up, Vox. Can on. you hear me? Come on, Doc. What's good with you? Man, I hey man, my bad. I had the phone on me, you know what I'm saying? I was crying a little bit. But oh, uh it's yes. all good. You just reminded me. Mm-hmm. It's our backup QB. Yes, sir. What am I tripping about? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shoot, you know, uh let me wait till my assistant walk out. You know, back in the day when uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, I might have lost one. I felt bad about that one, mm-hmm. but you know I had the other coming, so I wouldn't. I w- I had you coming, so I wasn't tripping. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, so when the other one came, it was all good. That our other one. Matter of fact, that the main one. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We don't need to trip. They beat our backup QB. And if you, y'all go back real quick, you go back and look at the game. Y'all going to see that third quarter, we walked them down. All our points we had to score, we had to walk down the field. When we got in that playbook, they couldn't really stop us. We mm-hmm. just kept leaning on them. If 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 uh, Rush hadn't used up all his QB, you know what I'm saying, any time in it, hey, yeah. we might have walked out the mud with a dub. That's all I got about you. I appreciate you. I, I'm sorry, baby, don't, don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? We good. Appreciate you, JR. Hey man, like hey look, like I say, hey look, shots out to the Eagles, man. Shots out to the hey look, they they got their W. They got their W. I ain't mad at them. Uh let's get Jake the Gray on the phone and see what he's talking about. What's up, Jake? What's the vibe you going on with? Cool my guy. What what you got for the show today? Well, not much. You know, I'm, I'm I was a little disappointed, but to be honest with you, this is about the easiest loss I can take. For sure. The season is young. Under- as we're looking down the stands in the NFL, you know, we're four and two. Mm-hmm. You know, Cooper Rush did his job. This is exactly what I wanted him to do. You know, we, we held down the fort. Now Dak's coming back. Hopefully we can stop all this ignorant talk about Dak is trash and all this stuff and move forward. And, you know, I see bright things in the future. Right. I'm shocked that I'm not impressed by the Eagles at all. Congratulations to them winning, but I was not impressed at all. Mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts played just like Cooper Rush. He didn't throw for much yards. He didn't they didn't really dominate us. I just feel like, you know, Cooper Rush was not the best quarterback to to get the win. But mm-hmm. looking going forward, man, there's a number of good things in the future for Cowboys, man. Go Cowboys and that's all I got, watch. For sure. Good call Doc. Good call, good call. Hey listen, and the one thing I don't want to do, I'm gonna say this again because I'm on Twitter and I'm seeing a lot of it, right? I don't want to get into the low hanging fruit. The Eagles deserve this win. They won. I don't care who's that quarterback. They won. They won. I'm all about, I'm all about energy being kept. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like the Eagles beat up on um uh Danucci one time. And it was talking their shit. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll be the shot Danucci. Whatever, cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think I think I think from that point that established the relationship of I don't care who your quarterback is, it's just gonna be shit talk regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like cause 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 people gonna people gonna take the win however they get the win, right? So like if Gardner Minshew was their quarterback, or if whoever, you know, backup quarterback at the time it was, you know what I mean, in between the Wentz and Hurts, like whoever it was, right? W's, hey, look, W's is W's. So when they get their W on Cooper Rush, cool. Get your W on Cooper Rush. Cool. Because W's is W's. I'm just waiting on four to get back. Shouts out to Eagles fans. You get your credit. 
Shout out to him. Both coming. Let's get Rasta X on the phone and see what he's talking about. What's up, Rasta X? Brother Vodge. Cool, my guy. Hey, I only shot dice in the bathroom a few times, but was JR talking about hussies? Was he was that an analogy about hussies? <laughs> JR was definitely in into the, hussies. In he he was definitely in the hussies blue chew <laughs> hussies blue chew and recreational activity, one hundred percent, Mr. Wolf. A, a hussy a hussy percent. Hey man, it's just so interesting how uh it was ever a Dak versus Cooper thing, like, yeah, like sure my man, like my man said. Uh, I mean, just imagine us being one at five. How crazy it would be if we could lose to an undefeated team with a backup quarterback, mm-hmm. and it's this bad, like, <laughs> right? Just good looking out for the uh, the stream today, man. It's easy to uh, want to turn that thing off, but you know. If you like that, man, you got to... Oh, sir, the volume... Your plate. The volume pays me good money to stay. Look, because look, on a regular day... Listen, on a regular day, you wouldn't see me up in here. I'd be down, but the volume the volume pay, pays me nicely to stay up in here and deal with y'all. So I'm, I'm hanging there. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, well, well, you still put up the blueprint, man, because you, like, hey, you, if you're going to be there for the 40 burger freestyle, you got to, uh, you got to finish that other thing, too, so... Yeah, I just appreciate you, man. One hundred percent. This week, one hundred percent. Appreciate you, man. We get, hey, yo, Ross says we get four back, man. Come on now, we get four back. Come on now, come on now. Hey, hey, one more thing, man. Yes, sir. Hey, I don't want uh Cooper finally to lose our backup quarterback finally losing the game mm-hmm. for them to rush Dak back though. Like I'm yeah. ready for him to come back, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying it's it's no need to get caught up in everything, yeah, controversy, this and that. Just let it happen, man. Yeah. I can take another game with Coop. Yep. Yep. On the what? The 30, 30 second ranked defense in, in Detroit? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, man. All right, now. Yeah, yeah. I told y'all since I'm phony, like, that's all the phones we're doing today. So I appreciate everybody else that called in. Uh, Yes. Good time. <laughs> I appreciate. I pre- Hold on, wait, time, wait, time, wait, time. Look, 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 look. Watch chat. Look, look, look. <laughs> So the rest of my week is going to be basically uh, relaying information. I love my lighting right now. It's basically relaying information and just making sure everybody's focused. Just making sure everybody's on the same page here. You know what I mean? Um, I got an inbox from Tom, Tom Brenneman. You know, he wanted me to come on the show. And uh, he said, win, lose, or draw. You want to come on and talk about the Cowboys? I was like, yeah, you know, man, you know. Cowboys is the hottest market in the business. Of course, I'll come on and talk about it. Um, but I just want to do my best to, you know, spread the proper information that needs to be spread, you know? A couple of weeks ago, Tom Brenneman, and this was after Cooper Rush had uh, had beaten the the, the uh, Bengals or whatever. Tom Brenneman was uh, was leaning towards the idea that Cooper Rush may be better than Dak. No, 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 no. I'm going to go on Tom Brenneman's show. I'm going to go on Jeff Cavanaugh's show. I'm going to do my own show, of course. Um, I'm banking on having like two other radio appearances this week. I'm, I'm, just, I'm saying all that humbly. And I have a good feeling that people are going to run that across me, right? They're going to run that idea. Hey, Vach, what you think about uh the Dak Cooper Rush conversation now? And I think it should have been the same, the same conversation the whole time. It should have been the same conversation the whole time, right? But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna go too crazy, man. I, I I'm not I'm not gonna go too crazy, man. I'm I'm glad to have Dak back. We're gonna go through the same process this week. We're gonna watch film. We're going to um we're gonna we're going to study. We're gonna get on Patreon. We're gonna do the whole the, the long form film session. Me and Will still are gonna break down this game. We're gonna talk about this. Uh and then we're gonna move on to uh we're gonna move on to Detroit and boy that run. That run. But I do want to get to these super chats before I hang up though, man, because there were many people that sent us super chats. And I want to make sure that y'all get y'all love too, man. I want to make sure my super chat has got their love too, man. There we go. Let's refresh you. And let's refresh you. All right. Here we go. Let's cut let's cut a little 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 super chat music on. Let's cut a little super chat music on. Little super chat music on. Let's start with the volume side. What's today? The 16th? 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No violence in my chat box, please. No violence in my chat box, please. No violence in my chat box, please. 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 <laughs> ah, I can't wait till that press got get back and just it just it just it just restore order to everything, dog. I can't wait. All right, here we go. Josh Rander, turn me up a little bit. Josh Rander dropped five and then a deuce. He says Cowboys win by ten. Hmm. Cowboys win by 10. Cooper throws three touchdowns and 290 yards. Mm. And we got to listen to the talking heads about the controversy. <laughs> and Josh Rander also came back and says, uh, look like we lose by 20. <laughs> and look, we didn't lose by 20 neither. So I still got to go. Mm. Uh, come on, Dak. We need you for sure. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, we read that one. Asriel says we can go. What can go wrong will go wrong. Per usual, that was this was way earlier. Sick of this. Sick of this. Sick of this. Um, P. Fika says Rush can win this game. He's not terrible. Mm. Show good poise in the red zone, but <laughs> but he just won't. Also, too, the 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 fun part about this is like some teams have quarterbacks this bad and they got to live with the idea that they got a quarterback this bad. You know what I mean? Like they got like like that's just what their quarterback position is. This ain't what our quarterback position is. Like we get we get four back. Uh, and I don't care how look Eagles fans know about folk. They walk around with their chest big right now and look as they as they should. Shouts out to them because they got the W. Four coming, sir. And ma'ams. Let's see. The lion is hungry. The lion is mad. Let's go, D, for sure. Uh, Evan Thompson. We read Evan Thompson. And Taylor came back and says, my bad, you weren't live Friday. But I did say turnovers will decide the game. Hurt stats ain't much because of short fields. Go birds. Okay, you're saying that Hurts didn't have big stats because of the short fields. Okay. Well, shit. I mean, it ain't like they went crazy when it when it had long fields. <laughs> you know what I mean? But hey, but look, shout out, shout out to you. hey Taylor, shout, Eagles. Hey, you got you got your win. Shout out to you. Got your win. Got your win. Shout out to you, Taylor. Got your win. Shout out to you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be phoning with y'all, man. You got your W. Shout out to you. Got your W. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Now, on the Vice Lombardi side, let's read the Super Chats on the Vice Lombardi side. Uh, da, 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 da. Boy, y'all dropped a lot on the Vice Lombardi side. God damn. All right. Let's see. Vice show salute. What up, KD? Um, Antoine Fair says, Garrett picked the Eagles. Cowboys win. Hilarious. Antoine dropped another one that says, why are they throwing so much? And another one that says, great coaching right there, for sure. Appreciate you, sir. You was probably talking about making the adjustment to the run game, for sure. Uh, Otis Ochoa dropped a deuce and says, who's Jerry going to have to pay to get Dak in? <laughs> Hilarious. JR says, uh, this is a game where Dak would have made the difference. Indubitably. King Sir Bishop says, oh no. Oh no. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, Brandon J says, problem is we haven't seen Rush in this predicament. Yeah, we read that one. Appreciate you, Brandon J. Brandon uh, J. Uh, we read that one from Emil. Appreciate you. We, met, we read Scott Mick. Appreciate you. No, we didn't. Scott Mix says, someone tell Rush this isn't the preseason. Oof. Appreciate you. OTG Dex says, uh, we read down. Appreciate you. <laughs> Grip Boy, shouts out to you. Getty Green says, Cooper Rush is exactly who we thought he was in my, in my Denny Green voice. That's who we all thought he was. Sick of this. We read down from Scott Mick. Appreciate you. Weebo says, uh, Parsons Hammy is hurting. You can tell. You can tell. Nah, I couldn't tell. I watched the film, though. Uh, Drummer Cam dropped his dime. We appreciate you for that. We read that one, though. 
Uh, Moolah Every Day says, uh, worst Dak hate ever comes from big country. Worst Dak hate ever comes from big country. The worst Dak hate. Appreciate you. Durian Alford dropped a dime and says, Cooper can rush his ass back to the bench. <laughs> Hilarious. Indubitably. Brandon B says, talk me off the ledge, Vach. F my life. Uh, please troll all the Rush fanboys. Much love. I shouldn't have to talk off a of, of, of ledge. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. Brumley, it's one. It's a one cheek versus a three cheek conversation. Appreciate you, Drummer Can with the Deuce. Titan Omega Music Drop Five. It says Philly does their damage in the second quarter and they do nothing after. That's how it looked. Uh, I'm not saying we gonna come back, but we have a shot. Well, we did. Uh, but that Cooper Rush pick at the end, that 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 that's sealed it, bro. Uh, Herman Williams dropped the five. Says the middle, the middle of the field is wide open. Yet we're thrown to the outside. If Dak and Schultz were playing, we'd be tearing their ass up. Good win, uh, good win, um, Eagles. Marcus Andres dropped five. and says this is for the Super Cooper fans. Ha ha! Colin is the worst. Uh, he gets by for picking you up, Vach on the volume. Appreciate you, sir. Grip boy came back and says, touchdown here. Things get a little bit crazy. Indubitably. Indubitably. Antoine Fair dropped a deuce and says, hell of a job with plays on that drive from Kellen Moore. Indubitably. Drum McCann dropped five and says, it would be so dope if our defense scores six right now. Speaking into existence. No score. No score. No score. <laughs> Albert Scott uh, dropped five and says, Eagles fans were getting nervous. Look, Eagles fans won't admit it right now. They were. They were. Because I saw them on Twitter. And I peeked over to um one of the uh, Philly live streams chat box. Or their comments and chats or whatever. Come on. Come on. You already know that. Uh, ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Shots out to you, Caesar. Shots out to you, Caesar. I remember Vach saying Jalen was average. <laughs> I mean, like Jalen hurts. <laughs> ah shit alright man uh, let's see let's see Otis says <laughs> Lombardicus uh, let's see let's see let's see Otis says uh that's what happens when Zeke's run when Zeke runs the ball effectively. Then play actions be wide open. 100% indubitably. I got a text. I know Cooper can rush his ass to the bench is crazy. Exactly. Uh Grip Boy. Uh Grip Boy 504 says we didn't get our turnover yet. It's coming. Indubitably. Actually, in in doubt, indoubtably. Because it didn't come. Uh, I almost had that fumble though, but you know, it didn't come. Um, hit Scott Mick came back and says, Lions, Bears, bye. Get two wins, rest up for the second half. Oh boy, that's the run right there. I hate seeing AB play so far off the wide receivers. I feel you, Jamal. Uh, Brandon J drop five and says, They won this round. Just know when, uh, when Master Chef Prescott, <sighs> Master Chef Prescott comes back, we putting 40 burgers back on the menu. Uh, four around the corner, indubitably. The only thing that is letting me down about these Eagles fans, right? This is the only thing that's really led me. Like, I expect Eagles fans to be nonsensical to an extent, but the only thing that's really making me a shame of them. And look, they won, so you really can't be too, too shame of them. But the only reason I'm looking at Eagles fans right now with some sort of, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. 
is they're pretending like Dak Prescott doesn't get busy versus the Eagles. Like that's the only thing that's weird. That's weird to me. <laughs> that's the only part that's super strange to me is that, and look, I'm allowed. Like, I don't mind the, the shit talk and the, the trolling and the talking in all caps and all. I, I don't mind that at all. That don't bother me at all. I don't mind the, the, the celebrating in my chat. That don't bother me at all. Like congratulations. But when, but when a cowboy fan in the, in the chat says, Oh yeah, man, next game should be cool. You know, when Dak plays y'all in that act like Dak ain't been going crazy versus y'all. Like, like that's the only part that's really baffling me about you. And I, and I, I even understand trolling, but I feel like y'all motherfuckers ain't even trolling. <laughs> I feel like y'all, I feel like Eagles fans really think Dak Prescott ain't good, which is interesting. It's just, it's just interesting. All right. Um, let's see. Ray Bean dropped a dub for the love. He just was holding us down. Appreciate you, sir. Appreciate you, sir. Um, has Dak ever lost with a hundred yard rushing game? Uh, he ain't lost many. Appreciate you, Moolah, every day. Kevin dropped a dime and says, "Bro, if Dak started this game with a bad thumb, he would. Uh, we would get a fairly easy dub. I, I don't think that's the case. I, I think that's a bit hyperbolic. I think bad thumb Dak wouldn't be able to throw the ball as much as." good thumb rush. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, I'm not going to go out and say that bad thumb deck wins the game. I'm not going to say that. Mm, I don't know though. They definitely would have would have played defense a little different. I don't know. Uh, Eagles scored the same 26 last year uh, and we had 50. <laughs> we did. That's fair. Cowboys did, did put up like 50 something to their 26. Hilarious. Appreciate you, uh, Moolah, every day. Uh, Darian Alford dropped a dime and says, Cooper Rush would be the reverse card if we were playing Uno. Now it's time to throw out that draw four. <clears throat> Fantastic, sir. Fantastic, sir. Uh, good thumb rush through. <laughs> Yo, bro, like, that cannot be a new name for us. That can't be a new name. Bad thumb deck and good and good thumb rush. We, we can't do good thumb rush, y'all. We got to have some class. We got to have some class, man. Um, Scare, Scarecrow, Scarecrow drop five says, if Cooper Rush just throws one interception, do you think the Cowboys win tonight? Man, I don't even want to be classless right now. Mm. I don't even want to be classless right now. Shouts out to the Eagles, man. They got a W tonight. The Eagles got a well-deserved win. Shouts out to the Eagles. I don't even want to be classless, Scarecrow. If Cooper Rush throws just one interception, do you think the Cowboys win tonight? Oh, my God. Um, Greg Westmoreland dropped 11 in the Super Chat. Says, for everyone that thought Dak went down uh, for the team to be... For everyone that thought when Dak went down... For the team to be four and two, Cooper Rush deserves love. Yes, the fan base should appreciate his time. Now Dak can make this nasty, indubitably. Appreciate you, Greg. Jamal Wilson dropped a deuce in the super chat. It says, "Rather lose now than for the division later on." Interesting. Damo twenty four dropped dropped a deuce and says, "I'm sleeping good tonight." Hurts isn't like. I don't know what that means. Hurts isn't like. Okay, appreciate you, Damo. Good call. I know you're a Cowboy fan, so. K Mac dropped the five. It says, We held the Eagles to 268 total yards. Turnovers and field position killed us, but next time, four will kill them. Salute, K Mac. And then Quallen Campbell, Quaylen Campbell, Qu that's definitely Quallen. Quallen Campbell dropped a deuce in Super Chat. Says, Trade deadline targets to help us. Uh, I don't think Steven Jones is about to spend no draft capital. Definitely not at the uh, trade deadline to go get some help. It would be fun, but I don't think that's going to be a thing that happens, though. Hey, listen, chat. We're going to be breaking this thing all week, breaking this thing down all week. You know what I'm saying? We will have our film. We're going to break down the film on the Patreon. We're going to drop our film uh, our film sessions on YouTube. 
Same process, same process, nothing changed, nothing changed. We still got to come to work volume, invest some pretty good money in the Vosh Lombardi industry, man. So we got to hold them down. Um, me and Will still go live tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central. Uh, so I will definitely see y'all there. We got one more super chat. Okay, Jalen Hurst isn't like that. I got you. He dropped another deuce in the super chat just to uh, clarify what he was saying. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Hey, love y'all to pieces, man. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. I'll catch y'all next time. We have a couple more weeks or a couple more days to talk about Eagles. That'll be Monday and Tuesday. Then Wednesday and Thursday, we will be getting into Lion Talk, and we'll be watching that film also. Y'all holding down with the Dusky Wilson, the Peace Whiskey. Until next time, love y'all. Thank